Hey, what's up, C Maniac Nation? C Man, letting you know, bear with me with these videos. Uh, I've had a lot of technical issues the last couple days. Uh, my mic completely crapped out. Then today it seemed to be working, and when I imported everything in to edit it, uh, there was like a high pitch squeal. I've done my very best to edit it out of the videos uh, that you're getting ready to watch. Um, it comes in occasionally. It's not too bad. Um, if you listen to things about midway on like your computer, uh, you should be fine. But bear, bear with the, the audio. I thought the reactions were worth putting up and I got it to a pretty usable place. Um, so yeah, technical difficulties ahead, but hope you enjoy the reactions. Take it away! Pass man. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the Seaman, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the Seaman's Cinema Sit Down. It is Tuesday, April second. Um, I hope you all had an enjoyable April Fool's Day. I uh, I have had some rough April Fool's days <laughs> my day. Um, fortunately, no jokes were going on. I, I was at work all day. Um, it was a little tough getting back to work after being off for a week, as it always is. But now. Getting to my first weekend after being off for a week and then back at work for a week. Oh, I'm so happy to be off for these two days. And I figured we should take a look at some trailers because that's what we do over here. And we just took a look at something that lives in one of my favorite worlds in the world. And that's Jurassic Park. Uh, and that universe with uh, Jurassic World Chaos Theory. The follow-up series to Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Both animated shows over on Netflix. Teaser is a legit tease. But I'm excited. If you want to see my full reaction, you can see it right up over there. Um, but now we turn our attention to a franchise that I adore. Because I had two of my favorite people in the acting world in it. And they were great for both comedy and action. However, somebody got a little slappy a few years ago. And I personally, I just had a rough time being pro anything. This one guy. But, you know, one of the things we work on in therapy is forgiveness and acceptance and as we're starting to learn, the world is a messed up weird place over in Hollywood in both the movie, TV, and music industry. Right now, mostly the music industry, although I'm sure there are some Hollywood TV movie people that probably mix up and all that stuff. This Diddy shit is crazy, folks. Um, it feels like it'll kind of, it's got, like, I feel like we're heading toward, like, Epstein list, like, Oh man, like the anticipation, and it feels like it could fall on its face, but it also feels like it could open up a can of worms that like exposes a lot of things in the music industry. Anyway, I'm getting off course. Basically, what I'm saying is a lot of weird things go on out in places where people have lots of money, and we can't relate to those as normal human beings with just normal amounts of money or very little money. Um, and for this franchise, I mean, if Martin was down to ride again, the Seaman can be down to ride with Will. For another bad boys movie. What are we taking a look at while you pull up the chair? Take a seat. We are getting ready to take a look at the first, I believe this is an official trailer for Bad Boys 4 titled Ride or Die. Now, I will say this, and I thought this when, you know, Bad Boys for Life came out. Do you want Bad Boys for Life to be the fourth Bad Boys movie? Because you literally could put Bad Boys 4 life I, we talked about this when it dropped as bad boys for life being the third bad boys movie and you know what if you weren't gonna get another bad boys movie after that one sure for life makes sense but then you do do another movie and you just what were we going backwards in the song <laughs> like, like is we ride together we die together bad boys for life ride or die should have come before <laughs> life but you know, that's just a me thing. Um, you do have Adil Alarbi and, and Bilal Fala back directing and what they did with the last Bad Boys movie. Like, it, I love all the Bad Boys movies, you know, and, and, and there, there's definitely, you know, like a jump in time between one and two and then between two and three. Um, but it was one of these where, like, two, I love two. Two so much fun and, and it, it really hits all the things that you can do in a Bad Boys, you know, franchise. But, Coming off of the gap between two and three, I really felt like uh, LRB and Fala injected new life into Bad Boys. And they injected some new characters. And that's one of the things I'm excited about here is, like, you see some of those folks, Vanessa Hudgens, Alexander Ludwig, Paula Nunez, they're all coming back. So I'm here for that stuff, um, as is J Jacob Scipio. And I believe Melian LeBird was the fourth newbie that was in that, that group. And then they were all headed up by Paula. But I love that we're getting all of them back because really the only consistent character that comes back and what the first thing I look for 
Joe Pantoliano. Uh, if he's not in these bad boys movies, I ain't watching them. Uh, y- you'd need Captain Conrad Howard in place. So he's there. The new crew's there. Will and, and, and Martin are there. And I'm telling you, if there's anything that was going to get me back into the Will Smith train, it would be a bad boys movie. So I, I love this franchise. I love Martin. Um, and I, I really love what Alarby and Fala did with the last one. Um, if they can capture that magic in this one, yo, it's on, folks. Uh, so let's get the trailer up for you. Uh, we got it up for me. Let's not waste any more time and take a look at our official trailer for Bad Boys Ride or Die. I want to say Ford Life so <laughs> because it's the fourth one. Anyway, I digress. Let's take a look at the new trailer. For bad boys, rock or die. Bad boys trailer is coming out right now, right now, right right now. Yeah, right, right now. Well, that's a new take to the right pre-trailer yeah, for the trailer. Come Here we on, go. Mike, slow down. We are late. My stomach, Mike. Fast cars. <laughs> yes. Get a ginger ale and nothing else. I know dogs fresh. Put them in yesterday. Everyone <laughs> put some relish on that monster. <laughs> Oh, jeez. That Skittles on the counter, Marcus? This ain't mine, Mike. Yes, it is. <laughs> Get in the car. He has a gun to my head. Want to deal with him? You want to deal with me? Sorry, sir. But I gotta go. <laughs> Call 911. Aren't you the police? <laughs> hey, Dude, the vibe is there, baby. No, sir. You ate my snacks, didn't you? You need to get a job. I'm a U.S. Marine. We're leading into... We now have evidence that the late Captain Conrad was working directly with cartels for years. No. No, that's got to be a lie. Yes. What the hell? He's texting us from the other side. No, he's not, Marcus. If he's seeing this, I'm probably dead. Oh, no. Doctors. Come on. <laughs> I'm with you. I don't know how high Cap. up this shit goes, but don't trust anybody. You're my bad guy. guy's good I'll choice for name. a bad guy. You should be careful. They're being set up, detectives. Oh, shit! Dude, I love these two dudes, man. LRB and Fala. They they got such a nice cinematic eye. <laughs> Look at that! Holy shit! Will Smith. What is all over the front space? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We all get him joined up to a silly thing together. I love it. <laughs> They're showing us a lot. That is borderline too much. That's a cool shot, though. But I feel like we just saw the whole movie. Are y'all stealing our clothes? Just because we black, we stealing your shit? What? Look at your shirt. Why don't you sing us a little Reba song? Reba. Sing your favorite. Uh, I'm a woman. Uh, so I'm a strong black woman. Yeah, I'm a she like, <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do? do it. I know, Reba Song. It's from her mixtape. <laughs> boy, you bad boy, bad boy. Uh, bro, I, like I said, man, these boys uh, over here, LRB and, and Fala, like, they understand bad boys so well. And they understand those two dudes and will smith and martin lawrence so well um the comedy is pitch perfect the action looks absolutely phenomenal some of the cool camera trick things that they were doing like all the way up to the end with that gun toss like i love these dudes cinematic eye and it is they are the perfect combo for action comedy man and like What's great is, like, there's tons of stuff where, like, most of that trailer, we're laughing. And that's true. There's lots of comedy. But the comedy never overshadows how big and action-packed these movies can be. And, you know, I I feel like that's just the natural progression when you do these things. Because, like, the first one does some pretty big things. But it's not nearly as crazy as the second or the third. 
Um, but like just just the choreography type stuff they had working in the first one, like I- I'm so here for everything they showed us. My only problem, they showed us a lot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, there was a lot in that trailer. Um, out of the open and the, the scene of the bodega, like, the perfect kind of tee-up. Then maybe give me, like, I don't know what, we're at, like, 45, give me, like, 30 to 45 more seconds, and I'm probably good. 90 is, like, where I really like my trailers. <laughs> you know, but that being said, I, I love the idea of leaning into Marcus. This time, not so much being, like, done with the job, but like now I'm I'm physically out of shape, I'm snacking, I'm doing all these things. Um I, I love that we get Marcus where is where they show that shot of him on the top of the hospital. Here th- like this. Like when you see him like that, <laughs> that little like show that means Marcus got drugged up probably again, which is gonna be very, very funny. Um obviously I mean explosions, people going through buildings, I, like and, and then naturally Mike and Marcus end up being fugitives because they don't think Cap Cap is the guy. I love that conceptually, but I definitely don't think that Captain Howard is the dude that was working with the cartels. That would be heartbreaking. Um, but again, that's something that I think when you look at the stuff that LRB and Fala are playing with, like they understand it. They know the things that are going to pull on our heartstrings, um, but they do show us a lot. I love that we're getting another neon uh, like set, and it looks like they could be, like they're in a warehouse, but that looks like a trailer park home. So, like, I'm fascinated to see what's going on here, but I love visually those colors. I mean, all the action looks great. I love Mar- Marcus is on his knees on probably a stranger's car. You got Mike chasing him. Um, and then the whole bit with the trailer park, white boys. Like, that was very funny. And Marcus always trying to get to the bat. Like, these guys understand it. They just they showed us a lot. But, like, like you look at this, like, this action... You can tell that choreography's there, the way they can sync it up with music, the camera tricks, like... We got two suspects, Lowry uh, and Burnett. Like, just get... And then, what, where, where's the... Not that. It's... I think it's right in here. <laughs> but this, this... This this toss of the gun... <laughs> so good. That looks like a great sequence. But show, where's that... I can't look at using the freaking... That, that! Like... You know it's visual effects being in there too, but like it just looks so smooth. Um, yeah, I, I really think the, these two guys in LRB and, and, and Fala, they they just they know what they're doing. And Smith and Lawrence are always locked in to, to team up as as Mike and Marcus, uh, you know Lowry and Burnett, and them being on the run, I think is great. Uh, hopefully, them being able to utilize Nessa Hudgens, Ludwig, Nunez, Libbard, and, and Scipio would be great. I love that you bring Eric Dane, uh, a good old Grey's Anatomy alum. Shout out for my mom. She got to be one of the biggest Grey's fans I know. She's watched that series probably a dozen times, if not more. Um, so cool to see Eric Dane pop in there. He's, he's unlisted uh, uh, name wise, but I feel like he's probably going to be a bad guy. Uh, even uh, uh, Eon Gruffin, uh he's probably got it. His hands some dirty stuff too, but. I think, you know, my favorite thing in the trailer was Pantaleone going, if you're watching this, I'm probably dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's what us, the audience, is feeling. And that's, like I said, the things that these two directors, along with their writers, Chris Bremer and George Gallo, they understand this world. And this is exactly what I want in the follow-up to the last one. So, look, this one should probably have been called bad boys for life and the last one should have been ride or die but like you know we're we're inversing them you don't know if you're gonna get ride or die so you gotta do maybe that's what it was i don't know but everything that's here looks fantastic and come june see man gonna be here for some bad boys because bad boys bad boys what you gonna do what you gonna do and they come for you uh i'm stoked the question though is what about you are you singing bad boys <laughs> along with the boys uh, while you're watching the trailer, how much do you like this franchise? How much do you like these two guys? Do you have any issues with Will Smith post-slap? Is this something that could bring you back around uh, t- to Will Smith? Do you think that the slap could impact the box office at all? I genuinely don't, but maybe it could. We really haven't seen Will be in a movie that's gone to theaters that would have had an impact coming off of um, you know everything that happened at the Oscars. The only thing, he had Emancipation, which like that one kind of, I feel like nobody saw or talked about. But this, 
how do you say no to this if you're a fan of this franchise? So what do you think is going to go on? Is there going to be any controversy? Are there going to be any problems at the box office? Are you pumped? Do you like the comedy? Do you like the action? Do you think Alarby and Fala know what they're doing here? Is this going to be another Bad Boys movie? And do you ride or die for your Bad Boys? Anything you got, man. Good, bad, indifferent on the official trailer for Bad Boys Ride or Die, a.k.a. Bad Boys 4. Put it down below in the comment section. Look forward to talking to you down there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, you want to hang out with the C-Man anytime. We're talking movies, TV, trailer, reactions. You want to be here to see my thoughts on Bad Boys Ride or Die. You just dig the vibe. You want to show your love and support to the old C-Man. You know what you needed. Uh, I always use the support, man. You want to come join on our ride? Getting into where we ride or die, man? All you got to do. Join C Maniac Nation is simple. Jump over there. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell if you want those alerts. And until next time, C Man Cinema. Sit down. I've been the C Man. I'm signing off. Peace. Hey, what's up, C Maniac Nation? Winter Ken here, where we grow out our roots and our beard, letting you know that you can see some new C Man videos right up here and right down here. And if you want all those videos and show that man a little love and support, come join C Maniac Nation right over there, and the C Man will catch you on the next one.